Duke it is a back full effect. So um, for everybody that knows, uh, August seventeenth um, is the DXC Las Vegas. I'm um, one of the interns for the past two years, going on to my third year. But bam, um, you guys can hit up Antonio Facey on Facebook.com. Um, he can send you a link to any type of booths. Uh, if you guys want to host tables for your um, outerwear, innerwear, swimwear, clubwear, whatever type of wear you have that you would like to sell, uh, you can give them a call or give them an email at Antonio Facey on Facebook.com. He's one of the marketing agents for DXC Las Vegas. Um, hat out, hats off to him and the whole DXC family. I'm um, one of the interns this year. Um, it's going to be hosted um, via sneakerpimps.com or sneaker pimps they're the ones throwing the venue i think it's 150 dollars per booth if i'm not mistaken um the show's gonna be fat i don't know what the actual uh lineup or the headline is for the show uh but i know it's gonna be dope within the past two years uh they had uh stally from the maybach group last season and then the year before um they had pack division which was like super hot um, last night's show was Dilated Peoples, Jurassic 5, and, um, I missed it. I was in Arizona, I was at home, and I'm still home now. Um, I had some things I had to take care of. I moved a bunch of my stuff, so I couldn't really make it. Tonight is Gabe Bondock at UNLV, um, the... Foundation Art Center at UNLV Las Vegas. So if you guys are in town uh, looking for a show in Las Vegas, uh, Gabe Bondock, I think it uh, starts at 7. I don't really know yet. But other than that, I'm just doing a pack recap of my local swap meet. Five cards for one buck. Um, man, I'm amazed at what I got. It was in this little um, like Ziploc bag. or um, And I opened it up. And it had some fire, some heat in it. I mean, some of these cards are actually like worth worth buying, worth it. I'm uh, they're in bad condition, like the plastics are super dirty. But all you gotta do is dust it off, and it's like new again. The the corners and the centering is is perfect. Like I got this Nate McMillan, nineteen ninety five electric court insert you see the electric court stamp right there on the side nate mcmillan 1995 and then the back is number 29 non-number from upper deck the hologram company so i got one electric court insert and then i got another electric court insert of a mint condition Super sick photo of Bryant Reese from Oklahoma State to the Met Vancouver Grizzlies when Mike Bibby was wearing that nice jersey. Electric court. Look at that photo. Just rushing to the rim. Uh. Electric court rookie insert from Oklahoma State of Bryant Reeves to the Grizzlies center. Played four years at Oklahoma. Bryant Reeves. So two UD electric court inserts. And then I got two other inserts of, is it classic? It's classic basketball rookies. This one I was like super fond of. And this was the reason why I got it is because, I mean, they just, he, I guess in a few years ago or like in the eighties, I think it was like late eighties, early nineties. I think it was late eighties when they did it, but they shot this film about like um, <clears throat> high school basketball players trying to make it into the NBA, like into the major leagues, the National Basketball League. And he had a father and it was like a father, you know, raising his son to be a basketball player. And well, this basketball player, his name is uh, Arthur A.G. Um, so I think he's from like Chicago or something. Well, like, where does it say? Hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Um, but he went to Arkansas State. And I didn't know that he went to Arkansas, but... Uh, it's clean. It's a clean insert. And it's it's the hollow full version, and actually, one of the corners is a little bent. 
but the rest of the card is beautiful. Arthur AG hollow foil insert from classic 19. What is this? What year is this? 1995. So it was Grant Hill's rookie year. And then they put a Arthur AG Arkansas State rookie but this is the hollow foil version so it's it's a little bit more limited and a little bit more rare as you can see it has the foil on the side they're doing this with the upper deck um the usa dream team cards and then the the usa women's they were putting this foil on it was very popular but then uh classic was also known for doing this uh it's like a teal foil print on the bottom of their cards at the time in 95 so um and then it says basketball rook you can see the basketball rookies print at the top left and there's Arthur AG Arkansas State and he was at he was at he was playing uh junior college mineral from 91 and then he started Arkansas in 93 and played there for 2 years averaged 8 to 9 points per game 100 assists and 100 rebounds his free throw average was kind of shitty but still Arthur AG um classic rookie which was nice if it had an auto on it I'd be like Wow, and then um, pretty cool, pretty cool Kansas rookie. You see Bryant Reeves guarding him right now. Um, Greg Ostertag foil. So I got those five cards right there for a buck, which was super nice. Arthur A. G. Um, Greg Ostertag, and then a nice. Uh, Michael Finley from Wisconsin, his rookie um, snapshots, non with the wooden feel to it in the background. Michael Finley, he has his own foundation. So, those five cars for a dollar isn't bad, especially putting in that R3 G foil and those electric court inserts is worth it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Sub back, peace.